Hey, Keller Williams, it's Jeff here. Today I'm going to teach you how to create an electronic open house sign-in sheet through command. It's really easy. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's really great because when they sign in to your open house through command, it automatically dumps directly into your command context. So there's no more deciphering chicken scratch or trying to figure out what they wrote or maybe it's missing a number or missing a, a letter. The open house sign-in sheet will take care of that for you and check it for you. It'll automatically dump into command like I said before and that's one more step, one less thing that you need to do when you get home after your open house. So I'll take that if I have to do one less thing. So let's get started. In command you're going to go to sites here on your bottom left. You're going to see you have landing pages, agent site pages, neighborhood pages. You're going to work on landing pages. We're already here. You can tell because it's got the little um, underline here in, in teal. And we're going to want to create a new site over here on your top right. So we're going to click create a new site. And we want a standalone page. Let's create the page. Let it load. And the first thing I'm going to do is change the name of this landing page. We'll call it Open House Test. You can call it whatever you want. We're just call Open House Test for now. And now we have to add in the, the widgets. I like to keep it really simple and straightforward. You can add as many widgets as you like. I just sound through experience. Less is more in this case. So we're just going to go with a branded header. We'll drag and drop. We'll go with our lead form right here drag and drop and there you go that's pretty much all you need and now that we've laid out the two widgets that we want to use for our open house sign-in sheet we need to configure the widgets we'll just X out of this we don't need this here there's a little notification click configure widgets here on the bottom now let's go to your branded header number one and we need to enter the header text you can call whatever you want and that's the enter the header text is gonna land over here so we'll just call it the text box thanks for coming again you can change it wherever you want up to 30 characters and my headshot my information your team logo if that applies we'll click save and apply here in the bottom and you'll see here it shows up now we want to go to the other widget so we'll click here see we're at one of two when you go to two of two and again more header text to adjust which is right here. And again, you can make it say whatever you want. But before I get into that, I just want to let you know that in this form, you cannot change any of these. They are what they are. And they all must be completed in order for the form to work. So you have the first name, last name, email address, phone number, and leave a note. So something has to be left here and leave a note. What you could do is in this banner or header, you're going to ask them, or I'm sorry, you're going to instruct them what you want put here. So I'm going to say, um, are you, I'll say in the note section, Are you working with a with an agent? Question mark. Look like save and apply. And there you go, right there. In the notes section, are you working with an agent? So they'll put yes or no, whatever they decide to type there. So once would you're happy with that, and if you do want to change, you can just click the arrows back and forth, go to wherever you want and change the header over here. Thanks for coming to maybe the address. It's up to you, it doesn't matter. But I do know that I'm satisfied with what's going on here. I'm going to click publish the page. It's gonna ask me, do I want this visible to others? The answer is yes. 
Okay, now you see here back in sites under landing pages, you'll see here my open house test is currently active, created today. You can actually customize this a little bit by going here to the three dots, clicking change URL, and making changes to the end here. You can call whatever you want. Open house, no spaces. Click create. And there it is, see right there, it says open house. HTML. So now what you're going to do is you're going to copy this link. You're going to open a new page. And this is what you're going to use when you set up your open house sign-in sheet. Again, first name, last name, email address, phone number, and leave a note. And again, every field must be completed with something the email address must make sense. So John Smith at yahoo.com can't be uh, something that doesn't exist. Like, I don't know, pick an extension that doesn't exist and, and it, it won't work. Uh, phone number, you're only gonna put in the digits, just the uh, 10 digits. So 908, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no punctuation, no dots, no brackets, just type in the number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Your 10 digits, that's enough. If you're off by one digit, it's gonna fail. Same thing with leave a note. You need to put something in there. Again, you choose what you want them to put in there. If they don't wanna put anything there, just put in gibberish. And then they're gonna click, I'm not a robot. Go through the captcha. and then they're gonna click send. And what's gonna happen is, actually we'll click send now so you can see it. it's gonna fail. See how it failed? Please enter a first name. So it's gonna tell you that you're missing stuff. So what's gonna happen after you click send, provided it's completed com correctly, it will dump directly into command for you. So that's really easy. How to make an open house electronic sign-in sheet that'll dump directly into command for you. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Comment below. You can text me. I'm no, I have no problem answering any questions. So that's pretty much it. If uh, I guess, like, I guess I'll just see you around the market center. Have a great day.